Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Los Angeles Chargers, and it's all up next. It was once just an idea until breaking ground in November of 2016, and now here it is in all its glory. Spectacular SoFi Stadium here in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Los Angeles Chargers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway in Southern California. It is fielded right at the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. A number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. Hey. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Jackson going to look to run with it. And he'll take this one only up to about the 21. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Jackson. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. DeAndre Carter back deep. Fielded at the 33. 43 yards on the punt, return of four. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw routes versus air. But he's even more impressive when there are bodies on the field, and he's creating with big throws downfield. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 37. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Somebody missed an assignment. He was waving his arms saying, uh, hey, I'm wide open. They found him. You think? You think? I mean, he was so wide open. Did you see he was just windmilling like he was Don Quixote or somebody out there? And then they found him for a really nice game. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw here, Herbert. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Foul. Unnecessary run defense. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you Automatic argue your case down. with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Herbert on first down now. And he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, 
Chargers. Gerald Everett, a 15 yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed by the feet? After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. right down the middle and it's now a 7-0 game so they only needed three plays on that drive and it ends with the Chargers getting into the end zone the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away and that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone so we will start here at the 25 Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Jackson, he's going to keep it himself. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and ten at the 46. They'll run up the gut with Dobbins. And he'll work down inside the 45. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. A beautiful fake. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 19. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Throwing is Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. 
Throwing the out route, and he's got Eckler. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. From the 37, they work on second and six. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. He'll rifle this one deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He'll get this to Eckler. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 37. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Herbert now. He finds his target, Allen. Touchdown, Chargers. Keenan Allen, 37 yards. And the Chargers lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Point after here coming up. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From his end zone, here comes Justice Hill. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points. But then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now, they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. The quick feet by Jackson. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Beating him there with his legs. 21 yards, first down. Here's Jackson to throw. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Again, Jackson will keep it. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. That will complete to Prochet. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. And the Ravens are going to be set up with a first and goal. It's a nice run there. Gets him down to the six-yard line. To throw is Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Ravens are back within a score. Justin Tucker for the extra point. Makes it 14 to 7. 
makes the score. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Now the Chargers offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three. Because remember, Charles drives one and two, both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started, the way that they're going about doing things right now. They've got a chance for that third consecutive touchdown, and that would be a crushing blow to the defense. On second down, Eckler, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision, and good footwork, and they had a little, little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Blowing that play up, Roquan Smith, as he gets the sack. Throwing on second and long, Herbert. And that one complete downfield to Allen. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one good for 37 yards. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. Herbert's throw going into the hands of Williams. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. 45 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Herbert. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers go up by two touchdowns. The extra point up and good. And it's now 21 to 7. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Bill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. The offense for the Ravens returns to the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they looked up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. The Ravens on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. Jackson. And that's knocked away and incomplete. And the end result of that play, you're almost not sure what you really want because when he gets outside of the pocket, you actually hold your breath because you think he's going to run for big yardage. But when he chose to pull it down and throw it and a play was made to knock it away, that's a pretty good end result. Not one you expected when the play began. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. 
Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. This caught left side by the tight end Parham. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Herbert. He's got Allen. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Now it's Herbert. This one incomplete. Almost picked off by the rookie, but he couldn't quite look it in. And now it's fourth down. And his kick is indeed good. And they will open things up a bit more. It's 24 to 7. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. The Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Jackson. And off his back foot, he'll heave this one deep. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They go play action now. Jackson. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and, and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. First down, and they'll try to run the action left. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Jackson. They'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Now Jackson. And he's got his tight end. That's Andrews. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 27-yard line. Jackson fighting his tight end Anders for the Ravens first down. And we've hit the two minute mark in this first half of action. Jackson on first down. He finds Bateman over the middle. And he'll be marked down right at the 15 yard line. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. 
They were starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And Jackson throwing once more. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. Tucker with the extra point. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded right around the eight. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The offense heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. They started on the ground with Eckler. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. On first down, Justin Herbert. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Williams. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Herbert on first down now. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And the Ravens are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. He exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Final play of the half here. It's Jackson. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Ravens. And they did have some success running the football in those first two quarters. And that might be something they continue to work on as they try to get back in this game. Both these teams, no doubt, making their final halftime adjustments as we speak. And for the call of the second half, we get it back out to Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. 
All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Up the middle with Eckler. Ooh, the juke. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 95 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Herbert. Williams brings it in. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. You have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure, and it's second down. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worth. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Ravens are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. They go play action with Jackson. He'll dump this off, complete to Dobbins. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. I do know that owners, when they watch their quarterbacks run with the football, they usually hold their breath because that's the franchise. But when you're getting that kind of a game, hard to argue against calling it. And he's going to have a Ravens first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. A give up the middle to Dobbins. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Jackson will keep it. And they needed two. They could only get down. John Harbaugh never shy about bringing out the red challenge flag, and he'll do so here. Previous play is under review. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going, but just trying to get the right sight line to the football, that's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here.
After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge does not sway the official's decision. The spot of the football going to remain right where it is. Tucker's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. Well, whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin this second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. Austin Eckler and the Charger offense reclaim center stage. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals. Just something magical about breaking that barrier. Now he's right there on the doorstep now. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Herbert now. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to bring up a third down. Draw play. It's Eckler. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. And he's blocking the ball. Return team. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and ten. Jackson now down around his goal line. Well, that's complete to the fullback Ricard. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. Holding offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up fourth. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here comes Carter. The 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Running on first down, Eckler. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. It's Eckler again. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Eckler. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall 
right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And Hill will opt for the touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start with the option. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. Dobbins running out of the gun. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It was Joey Bosa working his way in to bust that one up. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Throwing is Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Tucker's kick is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. And there's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The offense heading back out as we take a closer look at Austin Eckler, responsible for well over 100 yards of total offense, but still hasn't found the end zone. You think that's in the back of his mind going into this drive? It's always in the back of the mind of a player who's having that type of a day because... Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Brandon Stevens, and the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. you got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. To throw again on second down. Jackson. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. On third down, here's Dobbins. 47 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Play action. Now Jackson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens. 
Suns are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Boy, hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. And Carter deciding not to bring this one out. Getting set to go again here on offense. Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And taken down just shy of the 40. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Call it a gain of a yard. And it brings up third and five now. Eckler now between the tackles. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Now this throw caught left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 27. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple, here's second and eight. Once more, here's Eckler. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. To the sideline, and <laughs> that's well done. Able to drag the feet, he's going to have the first down. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. This is swung out to Eckler. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. On second down, Spiller looking for space. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they've got it first and goal. Muster damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Eckler is not going to get a whole lot. Maybe a yard down to the three. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it, and the Ravens are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field. But sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given. And it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. Again from the 20 after the incompletion. Here's second and 10. Jackson running again. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Now the 
throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 44. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. 132 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. On the give, this is Eckler. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And his kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. So Lamar Jackson in the offense, down by a field goal, a minute 51 on the clock. And they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. Jackson. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. But right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. That is caught. Bateman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. Now Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. He's going to let it fly. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And a little bit of a surprise, they lose the turnover battle, but wind up winning the ballgame. And this is very unusual because you know all teams stress winning the turnover battle as a key indicator to winning ball games. So when you get something that goes against the grain, like the one we saw here, it's quite the oddity. Now let's face it, they'll be very happy that they pulled this off. 
but they do know that in the future, they've got to work on taking care of the football because this won't happen very often.